the camera's awfully low. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, so today I'm back with my favourite videos. Um, I think I forgot July. We're not talking about it. August, June, July. Yeah, okay, Um, I've just lost all memory of what months are. So these are my favourites for August. I like that you guys are so nice that you haven't brought up the fact that I forgot to do my July favourites. I love you guys. Thanks for that. July was a little bit mad for me. A lot was going on. Favourites video didn't happen. I apologise profusely on uh, behalf of my brain. But I'm back! We're back with the favourites. I haven't filmed a sit down video in about three mother freaking months. That's not a lie because I clapped. Which makes it true. Um, I think we should just kick right off. Let's not faff. Let's not faff. Let's jump right in with the favourites. With my first favourite, I dropped it already. My first favourite is these. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what are those? They look amazing. What the hell is that? These bad boys are new. And that's why it says new here in yellow. These are Malteser buttons, right? I love chocolate buttons and I love Maltesers. And I was like, hey, what's going on here? It's like they've had like a baby together. These are them. Mm. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take you on a mental journey of taste. <laughs> so, so weird. We're going for it, right? Okay, close your eyes. All right, I want you to all imagine that you have a bag of Maltesers, right? Then I want you to imagine you got a really, really big hammer. And then I want you to imagine that you are smushing the Maltesers with your mother freaking hammer. Right, so you've got all crushed up bits. You're then gonna put all that goop into the microwave and melt that bad boy for like 10 seconds, maybe. You don't wanna burn it. You're then gonna take it out of the microwave and you're gonna tip it onto trays in little blobs. And then you're gonna freeze that. That's what this is. These are amazing. They're really, really Moorish and it literally tastes exactly the same as the Maltese. Oh my God. Oh my God. Isn't it good luck when this happens? When you've got three of these stuck together all at once. Oh man. Mmm. One more minute. We need to be alone. <laughs> They're amazing. I love them. Uh, yeah. July favorites. Wait, no wait. I'm lying. August favorites. <laughs> Wow, my next favourite are these. These are the Body Shop's face mists, and I've got one which is mandarin and one which is strawberry. They smell a freaking divine. I used to use, I used to use the vitamin C spray from the Body Shop. They discontinued that bad boy, along with my moisturiser, which they also discontinued. Every time I find a product in the Body Shop I really like, they discontinue it. I get very upset, like really upset, but they bought these out, so now I can't be upset because these are amazing. These are just face mists. I spray these onto my beauty blenders when I'm putting on my concealer in the mornings. I spritz it over my face after I put my powder on because it makes it look a bit more natural. And I also just put it on when I want to smell like a damn strawberry. I mean, who doesn't? This one is just, oh, it's divine. It's like you've stuck your face in a punnet of strawberries with this one. The orange one, to me smells like cow pole. Again, I love, I love cow pole. Um, that's exactly the sort of spray I want. Got like a slow release spray, so you don't get massive blobs of liquid on your face because I hate that with some sprays. These are like all misty, watch. I'm gonna do both at once. It's like tutti frutti. You seeing that? You're hearing the smooth spray. I love these. One little tip, don't breathe them in. <coughs> it tastes of chemicals. It does not taste like fruits. Do not drink these. Do not spray them near your mouth. It's just don't, don't be me guys, don't be me. The next thing I got is something that my friend got for me for my birthday and I love it, right? So I like to cook, I like food, I like anything that's been placed in my mouth that tastes delicious. That sounds wrong. I love food, I like cooking, I like thinking about food, I like planning my meals, I like thinking about what I'm gonna eat, I like thinking about what I've ate. So this is the world's most perfect present ever. This is called Love at First Bite and it's like a little recipe book. She even put a little note in here um, saying that she put her own recipes in here too. I mean, adorable. The first page is breakfast and then it comes with all the little tabs. So you've got breakfast, snacks, main desserts and beverages. I love that there's a beverage section. I mean, who wouldn't want a good beverage? <laughs> Let me show you something that she put in here. So my friend isn't like the cookiest cook, should we say? So this is one of the recipes that my friend put in here. It's called ice cream crumble. It takes three minutes to prepare. Uh, the cooking time is zero. It's none. The ingredients are ice cream and biscuits. You've guessed it, right? So on one side, you put the recipe, the cooking time, the ingredients, and how much it serves. And on the other side, you put the method. Her method says, get a bowl and a spoon, scoop the ice cream into the bowl, hold the biscuits in your hand, and crumble them into the bowl, and eat. And then, there's a note section at the bottom that she's even added, shortbread is amazing. <laughs> this is why I love my friends. When I got this, it like touched my soul. I've got a thing about like organization. I've got a thing about food. It's the world's most perfect gift. My next favorite is an album, and I don't think I've ever put an album on my favourites before. <gasps> There's a first favourite thing. This is the Ariana Grande's new album called Sweetener and um, it's not upside down, it's upside down. Is it meant to be upside down? 
yeah, it's meant to be upside down. <laughs> wow, I'm slow. I've been listening to this when I've been driving around and I find her voice is just very musically pleasing and everything's so precise and neat. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love it. My next favorite is really random, but these have helped me a lot and I thought I would pass this on to you guys. These are vitamin D tablets. Um, I am vitamin D deficient and it can affect my health quite a lot. So I've been on vitamin D tablets for a long old time. These are really, really good, right? For many, many reasons. Vitamin D you usually get from the sun or you can get a little bit from mushrooms, but not really from food. So I don't go in the sun because I burn. I don't enjoy being like really, really hot. I enjoy being cold and then in like big old jumpers. That's my life. It affects your body. It can affect your mood. It affects everything. You can get these in like super drug for like a few quid. And I just think it's important for your health. Health. If you don't know if you're deficient in something, then go to the GP, have a little blood test and see what's going on, you know? Uh, be in touch with your body, know what's going on. If you feel like something's off, go to the doctor, have a little chat, get some tests done and see what's going on, you know? Do it. Just bloody do it. Next favourite. I feel like this is a longer video because um, I didn't do my July favourites, so I'm smushing it all into one. But I really want to show you guys what I've been using and liking, so... Apologies for the long video, but a lot of you did say that you wanted longer videos, so you're welcome. So my next favourite is a cream and this is the Clinique, it's a very long name, a very very long name, it's a dramatically different moisturising gel, gel hydrant, hydrant, oh that's the French, ignore me please, <laughs> this is just a little um, face cream, I use it mainly under my eyes because it was quite expensive right, and this was like a treat for me, I don't buy a lot of expensive things for myself, so I like to have maybe like little nice things but like not like, let's not be silly with money now, yeah? Let's like, let's not go OTT. I have genuinely felt that when I use this, the under eye bags under my eyes, why did I say under eye bags under my eyes? Like they're not under my eyes, but they are. I've been using this for maybe like a month, a month and a half. I genuinely can feel that my under eye bags are not so baggy. They're like not as baggish as they were before. <laughs> <laughs> Baggish. That sounds wrong. My skin has genuinely been really, really good recently. I should tap some wood. Where's a bit of wood? Here we go. <laughs> skin has been very, very good recently. Um, and I'm putting it down to this, uh, drinking a lot of water and trying to keep healthy. This is also oil free, uh, which is always one of the main things I look for when I get a moisturizer. I dropped it. Um, <laughs> see? told you I shouldn't have nice things, I dropped it. Oil free is like the main thing I look for when I get moisturizers because I have an oily T-zone and we're not adding to the oil slick on my face. It's just not necessary. We don't need more oil on my face. Otherwise we can like cook eggs on it, you know? It's just, it's too much, it's too much. My last favorite is something that's quite big so I'm trying to move everything out the way to make space for it. It's this, can you, can you tell what it is? This is my new coat and this is from New Look. It's just a long coat. I like this coat because I can wear it with my trainers and I have been looking for a coat that is like long and warm that I can wear with my trainers for a long old time. So I bought this one because it genuinely actually goes with my trainers and I love my trainers um, because they're cosy. I just like it because it's like, it's nice quality. We've got a nice old pocket going on. It's lined on the inside. It's like, it's thick enough, but not too thick. You know, you can dress it up with a scarf. You can dress it down with like a crop top. We're all good to go. We're all good to go. Thank you so, so much for watching this video, guys. Why do I always clap at the end of these videos? It really annoys me when I'm editing that I clap. I'm gonna stop now. I promise. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching this. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, um, I haven't filmed this in so long, I've forgotten what to say at the end. Subscribe! <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Yes! I remembered! What a pro! Yes! Bye.